So your girl keeps living in the past and bringing up old shit. You don't understand why she just won't let it go. Let me try to convey to you what she can't when she's speaking from her place of anger. So I've noticed that a lot of the men I talk to usually have the same complaint about their relationship. I cheated. It came out. I'm trying to move ahead with her, but she won't let it go. Well, the first thing I need you to understand is that your five minutes of pleasure caused her a lifetime scar. Nine times out of ten, every time you look at that man, you're envisioning him with another woman. But you still stay with him. You know what I mean? And to me, to me, maybe it's a man thing. It doesn't make sense. If 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 you know every time you look at your mate face and you see him <laughs> body slamming another female. Yeah, but you never know. You know, what I mean? you know you're gonna get mad. So why why would you stay? You never know the circumstances. Sometimes the circumstances could be financial. Sometimes, you know, she could be relying on him or they could be <laughs> Oh man, so shall shall we get the um the first video started, man. Let's shall, go, let me let's see. Go. Do, do I got this? How, how dare you try to just like change the subject? Let that have been me, and you would have been like, oh no, T. Like, but let 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 CJ, your man Siege. You know, talk up, and then you want to get off the topic that he's like, he's not part of, he's no, not the president no more. Mm, I like, used really? to be in the F Boy Society, very heavy. <laughs> you know, I was, um, I think I made it up to vice president, but um, you know, I had to let go of those. I thought you said you was president a couple, a couple episodes ago. I said I not only was the client, I was the player president, mm. but that's not president. Yep, yep. Yes, that's, that's a different role. But you know, I listen. I'm delivered. Delivered so, with the tea, everyone. With mm -hmm. the tea. Delivered I'm, with the tea. I'm wholesome. I'm exactly. in the house. Exactly. So, we're going to get this thing here started, y'all. Let's, Let's get go. going. So, we got the first video. Okay. First video. So, we got a woman gives a detailed explanation on why women live in the past and it's hard for y'all women to let shit go. Is that the truth, T? Yeah, it is. But let's let's see what she has to say first, and then and then we'll I'll we'll, elaborate. Oh my God, here she go, man! I about to say we'll discuss. Elaborate, discuss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm saying hey. where, where peanut at? Peanut. Yeah, man, hey, cool. Julio. It's Fish Jump <coughs> Podcast. Oh. oh, let's go. So your girl keeps living in the past and bringing up old shit. And you don't understand why she just won't let it go. Let me try to convey to you what she can't when she's speaking from her place of anger. So I've noticed that a lot of the men I talk to usually have the same complaint about their relationship. I cheated. It came out. I'm trying to move ahead with her, but she won't let it go. Well, the first thing I need you to understand is that your five minutes of pleasure caused her a lifetime scar. The number one excuse I always hear is that didn't mean anything to me. She needs to just let it go. But let me explain this. That meaningless situation to you, whether you did it out of boredom, out of curiosity, out of opportunity, that one situation completely knocked her world upside down. Somebody just came in and pulled the rug from right up under her and everybody doesn't process that the same now when you do this to a good woman she's left trying to put the pieces to this puzzle together once the shit comes to light and she's trying to figure out why did this happen how did this happen what did he see in her that he didn't see in me and god forbid you're one of those ones that after it all comes to light you just keep on lying about the whole situation you just piling the lies up so now she has to dissect everything because she wants to know why why would the person that she loves most turn around and be the person that hurts her the worst that is what happens when you cheat on a good woman. She's going through all of these emotions. She really doesn't know how to handle it. Everything is suspect now and it's just not making sense to her. So what do women do when something is just disorganized? We try to put the pieces to the puzzle back together. And in the midst of that, she's going to be angry. She's going to lash out because she is scarred. She is hurt. No, she can't get over it because she still has so many questions that are unanswered because you won't tell the truth. She's angry because while she was being the woman that you needed her to be, you let another bitch who wasn't worthy have the one up on her. And now every good memory that she has with you is filled with doubt. She's looking back on old photos or thinking about old times where she thought you guys were happy. And she's wondering, damn, was any of it real? Was he cheating then? See, she's trying to process all of these emotions because everything is just a blur for her. So try to understand that when you are dealing with somebody who feels like they have been betrayed to their core, they are not going to process that at the rate that you want them to process it at. And they're not going to be able to heal from that as quickly as you may want them to. 
It is a true statement that trust takes tons of time to build and seconds to destroy. And what I'm really trying to get you to see is that everything that you put into her to get her to be that good woman to you, you have now destroyed. And in order to fix that, you are going to have to replenish what you've ripped from her. So, yeah, I'm not saying that she doesn't have to do the necessary work in order to allow that to happen. All I'm trying to get you to do is understand where she's coming from. And if you truly love that woman, you'll put the work in. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. So T, I want you to start this off, T. Yes. T, I, I want to know. I want to know. So why would you want to stay with a man that breaks your heart and then put him through all of these hoops and changes and, and sudden emotional madness? Why? Why do women do that? Okay, so it's not intentional. A lot of times the women do that is because they're in love and they figure, okay, well, you know what? I, know I love this is. man. I, I done invested this time. I invested this money. I don't want to have to start all over again. Because you got to understand, it's like meeting somebody new and starting a whole new relationship all over again and playing them games. Sometimes people don't want to have to do that. So they figure, okay, well, you know what? If he cheated, you know, maybe I can get over it. But at the end of the day, a lot of times once you know, because, you mm -hmm. know, a woman can have that intuition that, you know, th their man is cheating or whatever. But once you have that verification, it's like, Nine times out of ten, every time you look at that man, you're envisioning him with another woman. But you still stay with him. You know what I mean? And to me, to me, maybe it's a man thing. It doesn't make sense. If 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 you know every time you look at your mate face and you see him <laughs> body slamming another female, yeah, but you never know. You know, what I mean? you know you're gonna get mad. So why why would you stay? You never know the circumstances. Sometimes the circumstances could be financial. Sometimes, you know, she could be relying on him or they could be relying on each other. So let's just say if they living together and... Go ahead. Uh, uh, CJ, please, please. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Try to make... After CJ didn't want to hear a book, now you want to hear feedback from CJ? Really? Well, why not? Okay. All right. I'll be nice. Uh, go, Listen, go I'm, ahead. I'm on total BS tonight. So number one, okay. She said all that. She had a whole dissertation. That's fine. Oh, cool. Lord, here you go. But at the end of the day, it's funny. Women always got the t intuition with the man is cheating. But they don't never got the intuition that the man is unhappy. So, like, I, again, I take what she's saying. I get it. I understand. I Yes, because I used to be that guy. I was a cheater and all. <coughs> I get it. I get it. He was a president. But at the <laughs> end of the day, it's like, like you said, if you want to you stand for what what you stand for so can i ask you a question cj yes is that the only reason why men cheat is because they're unhappy because no, what if no, the man is happy no. and he cheats listen so there's there's a couple different type of men only maybe like three there's the greedy guy who just you know he can't help himself he's just tempted and he just cannot resist his temptation he's just being greedy and selfish that's him then the most most of the guys because most guys that i talk to the reason why they cheated is because they were unhappy and the one thing that has happened with a lot of women is that you try to bring something to their attention and they brush it off or they hit you with the with the blame game well would well you in 1997 when you it's like bro i'm telling you right now i'm not cool with this this is this ain't feeling good <laughs> this ain't right and they push it to the side and again I, i'm not saying that cheating is right but it's like hey if i bring an issue to you Hey, I want you to solve it because you the person that I really like. But if you're gonna brush it to the side, yeah, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a weak moment and yeah, I didn't did some <laughs> something I wasn't supposed to do. Yeah. So like if she the way she was saying it like she was saying it like every woman that gets cheated on is a good woman. That's and not the truth. But, and, and that's the thing. Yeah, that's so not the it, truth. It, it has to be it, we we gotta compartmentalize this. So it's like at the end of the day, was you really being a good woman? Because there's a lot of women out there that think that they're good women and they are not. Yeah. Just because you cook and just because you clean and just because you do little things, okay. Every man that's not their standard. I'm again, most men say like, Oh, I want a woman that provides peace. Peace don't just mean like she's chaotic. Peace mean like how you talk to me. Right. I'm not one of yeah. your friends. Be respectful. Like, it, 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 I seen this lady, this one lady like on me. This one lady on. Um, I don't want peace. I want problems. Always. <laughs> oh, I, I, I seen this one lady on Instagram and she said, 
The one thing she said, when it comes to my king, no matter if I'm upset or whatever, I have to respect that he's my king. So I'm always mm-hmm. going to talk to him a certain way. And a lot of women don't have a discernment. And at the end of the day, the reason why you do that is because as a queen, you want your king to do the same to you. So because it's, it's, it's about being mature and, and, and speaking in a mature adult manner. But, mm-hmm. and, but mm-hmm. at the end of the day, the one thing that is a, is, that's a standard to all men in any relationship is respect right. and a lot yeah. of women they don't have the, they don't have a discernment there's women that when they mad they t- they'll talk about your mama you know mm. sit like it's like at the end of the day okay we even if i did make a mistake i'm i'll i'll, I'll admit to it yeah you know what i'm sorry I, I, yeah i was on some bs women as men we have to have discernment because we can't hit you we can't talk to you a certain way because it's like damn i can't do that i'm a man but women don't have that same discernment. They'll go off the off the wall on you. Yeah. And it's like, well, wait, do you really like me? Or do you only like me when I when I'm when it's when it's going good? <laughs> it just don't sometimes it don't make sense. So yeah. it's like I'm not condoning cheating. I'm not. But I'm just saying, like, every woman ain't as great as they think they are. Yeah, so before we go to the last word, real quick, give a big shout out to my man L Boogie in the building, y'all. What's L up? Boogie. Jalil Warren in the building. What's up? Mr. Jaleel Warren. Yeah, that. L Boogie. L Boogie in the house. So quick, uh, T, last word. Yep. Any last word before I go to the comments? Of it no, I'm good. I mean, you know, a lot of what she said is the truth. But once again, like what, what CJ was saying, it's not, not, it's, it's, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be a good woman to be cheated on. So I, I want to nah. make that known. Like, Anybody can get cheated on. Oh, yeah, for sure. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. And there are multiple reasons. Oh, look, I, I know savages out there. I do, yeah. too. Who, who just cheat just to cheat. I, I, you know what I mean? I, I know some savages out there. I know some there. real boys that don't <laughs> care. They you don't. I mean? they, will but, take, they will take care of their wife, take care of the house, everything. Yeah, man. Still be out there. And thing. still be like, yeah, I'm going to go bomb something tonight. You be like, damn. <laughs> well, look, hold on. So, in the comment of the video, one commenter says that goes both ways. Another commenter said she just serving a word salad and no nutritional value. She's blaming men for women insecurities. <laughs> Look at that. What the hell? Let me show T face over there. No. Look at it. <laughs> the last I comment said, that. nah, <laughs> figure out why I cheated in the first place before yeah, you go okay. back and do it again. Okay. I agree with that one. You because, agree? Yes, I do. Because once again, it's like a lot of times from what I've seen, and I'm not this way. However, a lot of times women think that the men has to cater to them all the time. However, it's a two way street. A relationship is two people. So not only should that man cater to you and make sure that you're good and whatever, whatever means that you need. However, you supposed to cater to that man, too. And a lot of times what happens is women fall off and then they're like, OK, yeah, he's cheating. Yeah, he's cheating. Why? Like, what did you do? What did you stop? So mm. a lot of times people don't look at that. I feel you. I feel you. Listen, make sure you drop a comment, drop a like. Tell us what you think. Drop a like and subscribe. You heard the woman. Yeah.